Welcome to the High Tech Investments News Report for Week 48. The news report covers some of the many investments projects High Tech Investments is currently involved in so you can follow our progress. We hope you will enjoy this news feed and look forward to your comments and remarks. Hi, Bo here. Welcome back to this week's news report, where once again it is time to have a look back in the past week to see exactly how well everything has gone. It has not been the nicest week for everybody, I can tell you that already. But this new support here is also going to be a bit longer than what you are used to because we have just entered the month of December and that actually means that we're also going to have a look at the monthly reports which I hope also will be a great benefit for you. Not only are you going to have a look at what we are doing every single week but you can also see what these particular EAs are actually capable of over a full month. That actually becomes a lot more safe when you are using those or at least a better picture overall what it is there. Speaking of safe, well unfortunately here this is not a repeat from last week. This particular week here it looks like a few of the PAM accounts in here has gotten a margin call. Now this is not any of ours here but certainly it looks like a few of them got into trouble. We're going to have a closer look at what exactly happened. We have also seen that some of our EAs in here has had some issues on the drawdown, but because of the new system we have put in place, it is very much under control. We are very happy to see that, and hopefully that will also continue. Further to this, we're going to have a look at the Expert Forex copy link service in here, because we actually went in there last week and we just noticed that more than 50% of all the signals on the top 15 or 20 in here is actually our signals. So that is a very good indication that they are working, they are cashing in, and at the same time, they are also lower risk than what we had before. Last but not least, we're also going to have a look at Alex and Expert Forex, see what videos has come out of here. And also this is Cyber Monday, so there's still a chance to get some of these EA at a lower discount. But first, we're going to start off with yield notes, so let's get into it. So when it comes to yield notes, there's not much news. There's no uh, news update from either Steve or Woods. We're going straight into the yield notes platform here. We click on the audit coin reserves, and then that's where we're actually going to see the total coins owned by yield notes and participators to see if things are still moving. This is last week, 47. Now this week, 48. We can see that there is actually more coins in here. And then when we look down through it, we can also see that the master nodes balances has changed on all of them. We are interested in the PNY, so we can see that there's master nodes running 232, now up to 235 in here. And there's about 16 also on the SAP part, so things are moving in here. But obviously we still need to have a look at the value for the overall coin. So if we go over and have a look at Byrack in here, we can see the red circle is where we left it last time out. And again, this is pretty much on the same level as last time. Has moved slightly forward, similar to what it did last week. So small positive movements, but they're certainly far away from where they used to be. So in the meantime, let's go and have a look also here for the masternoding itself. So and this is now the staking. And for the staking for the SAP coin this particular week here, we had zero in. So not really much, but for the month of, again, November, we had quite a few. We had five entries in here of 1400 SAP. That gave us 4.7%. So that's a very good development. You can also see in here that this was one of the best months overall. So it was paired with August and only May was better. If we have a look to see what actually happened on the staking side here for the PNY, for the week, we had two entries of 266 PNY. One came in on the 28th of November and the other one here 1st December. And that also now means that when we look for the entire month, we actually only had two entries. So again, we had 266 PNY. You can see down here at the bottom. So this was one of the most terrible months since we had with May. Not really much happening overall and only enough to do 1.1% for the month. If we go and have a look at Bitcoin to see what that development looked like. Well, we left it last time where we thought it was going to maybe break the $100,000 ceiling. It didn't. It actually dropped back down again to about 92. Then swoop up again to about 98. And at the moment, so at the time we're doing this particular video here, 
it is pretty much trading sideways here within 96 to 98,000. So it's going to be interesting to see if it's going to actually break the glass ceiling. So next week, we also have to go over the trillion news, which very soon is not going to be called trillion news at all. Because again, the project migration Intel in here, we are actually getting the airdrops for the new coins. And uh, there is a bit of an update on this where most users have already received the airdrop by now. We have received one set here. Yeah. And then rest assured that everyone receives their airdrops. Or any, some users not received it due to incorrect information. So again, this is what you need to do. You need to do here, uh, make sure that you get your parts set up correctly fill in the form also here that you can find actually on the telegram app and then there's a deadline the form will only be available until the 7th of december 2024 so make sure you enter it right and then what you need to provide again the email used for the trillion the username transaction has for the dpay and most importantly the correct ton address and then the trillion team will verify your account in here and then what will happen next is the migration team will conduct the final airdrop for all verification users by the 17th of September. You should have everything in here. And last but not least, there's a little important news. This is the last chance to correct your details. The Richbot Revolution. So this is the one that you will see that is actually paying into uh, the uh, wallet itself. So if you have that one in there, that means that you have received it. It's a new project that cannot be compared to the previous concept tokens or values associated with Trillion. Unfortunately, they are not really telling us what values they are actually exchanging into. Nothing has been actually opened up or explained in here. So all we can do is sit back and watch and hopefully something positive is going to turn out. In the meantime, we already know that something positive has turned out, except it's not much for the Trade Explorer for this particular week 48. The 10 pair one only made $41, so 0.4%. So this is actually the week where we also had uh, a bit of a holiday in the uh, US. So that is also one of the reasons why, again, things slowed down quite a bit. But we can see overall the Trade Explorer is doing quite well, up to 44,000 in the balance. Equity is exactly the same because there's no open trades. So that's a nice little stopping point for the end of November, basically, here history is 563 days and then you can see also the monthly returns 7.4 1.7 and again they are not adjusted as we have more into the account that part because it's on the copy link service up here and one of the most used ones the 146c then definitely uh, people like this one and we cannot make uh, any changes to the lot size it still has to be calculated as it was a ten thousand dollar account if we have a look at the individual numbers, you'll see again that we only made the $41.66, obviously very low compared to everything else. But as I said, it was a big holiday here in the US that definitely had something to do with it. But if we jump over on the Trade Explorer for the entire month of November, it did quite well, $1,788 or 17.9%. And that is definitely approved in our book well beyond what you can expect from an E8 normally. Having a look at the month results, 1,788. And if you look at it from previous months, so this October was very good with 2,900. So that was a, almost a high jumper. So definitely for this particular year. And normally we have been all the way down to 880. So this is a very good and stable month. Very good and stable is also for the Wave Liberator in here. So we saw a few accounts actually making a lot of money and then other accounts not so much. You can see here Great British Pounds USD $325 or 32.5%. We're still talking only about a week. Euro USD $196 or 19.6%. And then Great British Pounds CAT $81 8.1%. And then New Zealand Japanese $60 6%. And New Zealand CAD $37, 3.7%. So if you would have traded those top five in the past week on $5,000 accounts, so five times 1,000, you would have made $698 or 14.0%. Definitely worth having a look at.
So if we have a look at the entire account, you can see again, we are set up with 22 EAs of $10,000 each. So it started off with 220, it's now at 256. Equity is 248. We have a floating profit of loss of 7,845 at the moment. But again, it is well within control. Total returns 17.7%, monthly returns 1.2, weekly returns 0.3%, with a trade win of 67.3 and a history of 468 days. So very good and stable. And simply just look at that graph in here. So very nice and beautiful. We have all basically the signals also from this particular portfolio in here. I believe we are only missing one, which we have asked Alex and Expert Forex to add in. So this is Canadian Swiss francs. All the other ones are actually on the coupling service already doing quite well. So go and have a look at them, see which ones you actually like, which ones you don't, or you simply bunch them up, all of them, and you should get a similar graph that what we have. Now, obviously also for the history in here, again, 876 is for the entire week that we have in here with profits a lot better than the last couple of weeks. We have to go all the way back somewhere around mid-September to find something similar. So that's a good sign. It did very, very well. And we have done a lot of updates on this particular one. But if we go and have a look for the entire November, which should give an even better picture in here, your USD actually comes on top with 367 or 36.7%, which is extremely high just for one month. Great British Pounds USD, $355 or 35.5%. New Zealand CAT with $205 or 20.5%. US Swiss francs, $171 or 17.1%. And then US Japanese, $163 or 16.3%. Overall, again, if you would have traded those top five here in the past month, so, and you would need to use uh, as a minimum $1,000 accounts for the five. So $5,000, you would have made $1,261 or 25.2%. That is extremely good, especially the way the market is at the moment. So if we go and have a look for the entire month to see where we are compared to the other ones, 2,855 is what was made. A bit lower than what we had in October in here, but September and August, July, still outperforming here at the end of the day so definitely it has been a very good month for the wave liberator isi liberator very similar also here we have a few currency pairs that did extremely well and the rest is a bit below where we expected them to be the us swiss francs did a massive 427 dollars of 42.7 percent in just one week great british pounds cat 149 dollars of 14.9 percent also USD, $57 or 5.7%, which is a bit more in line with the normal trading results. RC New Zealand, $44, 4.4%, and Swiss francs Japanese, $35, 3.5%. Overall, the top five in here made $712 or 14.2%. Again, an extremely high average. And the graph looks like this, very similar to the Wave Liberator in here, we still only have the IT account issues we had. We have 22 EAs and we have the balance now of 240. It started off with 220. Equity is 231 because we have a floating profit and loss of 9,000 here at the moment. Still very well under control. And we can see that everything is going well. Total returns 4.7, monthly returns 1.1 and 0.3% in here. Trade wins 65.5%, so very good, very high. A lot of pips, 16,000. We've taken in trades per day, 21, and a history of 236 days. Makes this also a very good EA. Now we have also added an additional ones now here for the copy link service. We actually marked them up so you actually know which ones are which. And we have an additional ones that we have asked Expert Forex also to add into this and once they are there i will highlight those individuals you can go and have a look see which ones you want to copy or if you want to do it in an entire portfolio similar to what we have now for the uh, rsi we had 837 for the week so that is well above and on average basically with the beginning of november in here so it did quite well you can see we love the graph in here but more importantly, let's have a look at the month of November. 
for the top five EAs. Again, US Swiss francs, $431 or 43.1%. So again, here, massive currency has cashed in more than 40%. Great British pounds cat, $200 or 20% for the month. So that is a bit more uh, in line with what we normally see. Euro Great British Pounds, $185 or 18.5%. Aussie Swiss francs, $178 or 17.8%. And then Aussie New Zealand, $172, 17.2%. All very good and high. And if you would have traded those top five results here with $1,000 accounts, in a portfolio of 5,000, you would have made $1,166 or 23.3%. And that is definitely also well within what you want to have as a trader. So for the entire month, 2,658 and pretty much average in what we had last month. So very good and stable results. I mentioned we also made some changes to ISR. So it's nice to see that the profit is still there, but also the drawdown is actually under control so that is very good to know you can obviously find a lot more details on our website go to our portfolio section in here and then you'll see the wave liberator the rsi liberator and the pam account where we actually have our wave liberator pam account in here at the moment so again the graph looks very nice when we have the small little dips it's actually not uh, anyway a loss it here is investors taking out money trying to de-risk themselves and we can see the weekly returns is one percent monthly returns 4.4 unfortunately this is a bit low because every single time investors take money out that number actually goes down so they take out the profit also at the same time so that makes it very difficult to calculate it we have a history of 276 days in here and you'll see that we ended up with 924 only dollars in here but there was also a range of withdrawals of almost 4,000. And so far, it looks like we've made about 50%, even though the other investors have taken it out. That's what we've been able to calculate as closely as possible. And that means most probably there's another 2,000 of profit that was actually taken out in the past week, plus the 900. So we are in the $3,000 range, which is not too bad, especially if, when you look at everything that has happened in the past week and also for some of the other PAM accounts that we're going to have a look at shortly. Having a look at the monthly results over here, again the data and the graph is the same and for the monthly results we made $5,432 in here of profit but again we had also a withdrawal of about 10,000 or a bit over in here and again if we take that lessons learned at the end of the day, saying half of what has been redrawn is actually profits. We don't know exactly because some investors, they have been in from the beginning. Then that might be true. If other ones just came in and left again within a month or two, that percentage might be a bit lower. But roughly maybe around the uh, nine or $10,000 mark is where we expect it to be. Now, I told you that uh, also and showed you last week here, there was a couple of Accounts in here that looked like they were under a lot of pressure. And we can see that the balance that we had for all the PAM accounts was 584,000. We had gains of 168 and then percentage gains was 28.8. Drawdown was actually high at the time. And you can see the average drawdown was about 50%, which is not very good, but the market has been extremely crazy overall. So this particular week here, we are now down to 427. So there is a massive amount that has basically left the gains that are in here. So it's 91,260. And that's pretty much the gains that we have in here. You can see our gains from high tech investment is 91,502. So obviously things have changed quite a bit. And some of the ones I highlighted here, is the one that's gone into trouble with the current balance of 64. Some of the other ones have also dropped significantly. And you can see the annual growth is now in minus. So obviously there's a lot of things happening. It could also be uh, for some of them that the investors took the money out. Uh, they panicked in here and took the money out. Uh, that is also possible. We cannot see that for sure. Overall, things have changed a bit now. 
So for the equity trader, it has about 11.7% and then about 49,000, almost 50. So the gains are in minus at the moment overall. If we have a look at the Alco trader, which should be the same one, simply just called something else, 26.4%. They have overall a balance of 112,710 and with gains of about 2,367. So again, those two equal themselves out. And then we can see the total gains is 21.4%, but we stand for the 34.6 in here. If we have a look at it in a different way, again, we can see the current balance that we have up here. And then we have a look at what we had last week. We had a bigger drawdown, so that has come down. Um, our balance is slightly lower because we had a few investors pulling out money, but the gains continue to rise in here. So 91,502. And the gains from that is 34.6% in here. So that is obviously still very good development. We also need to have a look at the lucky trader. And uh, now we pretty much have uh, an entire month in here. At first, this is week 48. So this is the fourth week that we are now trading this one. It looks very good. Eurocat $59 or 5.9%. So also these funds can be traded on $1,000 accounts. Great British Bounce Cat $36, 3.6%. New Zealand Cat $34, 3.4%. US Swiss Fangs $33, 3.3%. And then Cat Swiss Fangs $17 or 1.7%. Overall, these top five EAs in here made $180 or 36 for the week and this is actually very low for this particular ea if we go and have a close look at it we can see we have 16 eas they are set up with ten thousand dollar accounts each floating profit is very low as you can see here 2824 close profit is 2716 but we always have this little drag coming on and here especially after the week that we had trade winds is very high with 71.4 and a history of 29 days overall. And also here on our website, again, these are also accounts that are traded on $1,000 accounts. We will put them on the copy link service a bit later on when we have a bit more information uh, and basically a bit more than just a month of trading in here. But they all look good. You can go and have a look at them, not just as the portfolio, but on the individual ones. We'll take you to the FX Blue site. So if we have a look at it, we can see Again, the same data we have in here, weekly returns is 0.4, monthly returns is 1.8. If you transpose down to, if you're trading on a $1,000 account, that would be weekly returns of four, monthly returns of 18%. So that is very good, nice profit factor. And then we can see that the numbers have actually decreased. That's not because we have made major changes. This is something to do with the market so this was around the u.s presidential election the day after we had a lot of volatility in here and now this particular week here we had missed some trading days because of the uh, u.s holidays in here so that seems to also put this on a damper and hopefully it will rise if we have a look at the overall trades for november for the top five eas we have euro usd with a heavy $331 of 33.1%, very nice. Great British Pounds USD, $278 of 27.8%. Eurocad following after here with $232 of 23.2%. Aussie USD, $223, 22.3%. And then Great British Pounds Cat, $215 or 21.5%. And totally were well, these five accounts here also that you can trade on a $5,000 dollar portfolio in here you would have made one thousand two hundred and seventy nine dollars or twenty five point six percent that is a massive gain for this particular ea we really like it after we have made some changes and adjustments similar to what it is we're doing on the rsi and the wave liberator so if we have a look at the month itself 2716 for the entire portfolio looks like this in the beginning, it looks a bit wobbly in here, but that's because the weekends are coming in and they are basically flat. Uh, so obviously, hopefully we'll get more trading, we'll get more data in here in the future to show you even more. Also, uh, Alex from Expert Forex has a few videos out and as usual, we put the video links in below. 
Again, this is a free profitable trading robot that uh, you can actually go and download. And uh, if you watch the video, you will get a few more details out of Alex in here about this particular one. So if you are looking to basically evolve your portfolio of EAs, that is definitely the right way to do it. So any free robot is always nice, but the question is, is it working? Now, Alex also had Black Friday, as we have already gone through that one. There's a special offer for Cyber Monday. So I also suggest that maybe you're going to have a closer look at that particular one in here. And some of the items that you might want to also have a look at is actually what we mentioned in the beginning, the best monthly average gains in here. Again, this is what Alex has on this website. So basically, we're just showing you these. You can see some of the biggest gains, 28%, and the lowest one here for what has been put up is 11.2%, so all of them are extremely good. We've highlighted all our links in here, so all the ones that ending up with a C, you can see there's quite a bit of ours in here. So you can go actually have a look, see which links that you uh, would prefer. If you want uh, some of the ones like the orange one here is 23.1, so that is... 1k link 164c you go in for that one then figure out which ea that particular one is and you can do the rest also here for all the other ones and if you want to have a further look there's also a risk analysis information in here this is also taken straight from the expert forex homepage on the coupling service best gains in the last eight weeks as of 23rd november 2024 Again, you'll see quite a few of our copy links in here, all with a C. So 164, 167, 171, 151 in here, and 146C. All of them, as you can see, are doing extremely well. And hopefully, they will continue to do a good profit while we are also trying to keep the drawdown under control. So that's what we had in this week's news report. As you can see, there's a lot of profits to be had. Things are pretty much under control. Obviously, this is a, another disaster on the PAM accounts, which is not very good. They were supposed to be slow and steady and basically cash in for all the investors in here. So this is a huge step back. We are actually behind the scenes here, still working on more PAM accounts, but we have now postponed this until 2025. We want to make sure that some of the lessons learned from back in April when we had the Japanese yen actually uh, trend like never before. We also sold the Swiss francs in August, so which gave issues to our RSI Liberator. And now also again here in November on the US market. So we try to take all the lessons learned from we have in here find the stability of the EA, the stability in here, and then hopefully work out something that can be a lot more safe, a lot more smooth, less waves at the end of the day. And it looks pretty okay at the moment with all the settings we have done. So continue to follow my channel in here, and then hopefully we'll watch it out together and figure out exactly what works, what doesn't work. So until my next video, see you around. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed our news report. So please don't forget to like and add your comment below as we would love to get your feedback. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to keep the notification bell turned on. That way you will never miss any of our future videos. We hope to see you back on this channel very soon.